Hi friends, Suzanne here, a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my new mini-series called Rockin' the Retiring List. The new annual catalog is just around the corner, but I was hoping to celebrate and utilize products that are available now in the retiring catalogs. And if all goes well, I can share some creative ideas using these items. So follow along with me for the next little while for some crafty fun and inspiration with the Stampin' Up! retiring list. Hey friends, for today's project, I am featuring the Artfully Layered Stamp Set. Quite like this bundle, um, but today I'm just using the stamp set and three colors of ink, uh, Granny Apple Green, Shaded Spruce, and Coastal, no, Bermuda Bay, sorry. This is a page of basic white card stock. I'm finding the middle here, so five and a half and four and a quarter. Just making a little tick mark. It's just going to help me create the cards that I want to create today. Um, I inked up with Granny Apple Green and now with a dauber. I'm daubing on shaded spruce. And what I'm going to be doing is stamping the leaf images. Um let's see kind of in a t formation so on this full piece i'm going to cut it up into quarters so i would consider this quarter stamping um i once saw somebody do this with the forever fern um stamp set i think that's what it's called uh, i thought it was a very unique idea and it's very very quick and it will give you four um, card front panels very very quickly and so if you like stamping, which is why we're all here, this is a fun stamping project. It is pretty much one layer. So as you can see, I'm placing the leaf image uh, and I am trying to vary the colors. So one time I went in with shaded spruce and one time I go in with um, Bermuda Bay and then I sort of like, you know, I, at the end I kind of like just mixed everything up because that's what leaves are kind of looking like. So you can see I am trying to stay in, um, if I can imagine that I'm going to cut this into quarters I, and like the leaves are going to be cut off, um, there's going to be a little leaf on each one of the panels so and you can see what I'm doing here I'm just uh, again varying the inks and I quite like this stamp set because it has this big monstera leaf and I know a lot of you plant uh, people with green thumbs which is not me um, I have tried to grow things and it's just I have two orchids they haven't bloomed since I got them. <laughs> All the blooms fell off. Their one's name is Lilu and the other one's Corbin. Um, and yeah, they <laughs> Corbin is smaller. He's a hybrid and he still won't bloom. So uh, no green thumbs for me. But except for ink, I can get my own green thumbs <laughs> with my inks. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing around the border now. I did sort of a cross in the center. And I'm just thinking about how, you know, when I do go to cut this uh, and in this, uh, I'm going to have quarter panels that are going to have leaves all over them and enough room for a sentiment because I want this to be one layer. And as you can see, it's going pretty quickly. Uh, and I am just varying those three colors. And yeah, it's going very, very quickly. And of course, I'll list the products that I use today in the description of this video or in the supply section on my blog. All right, here's my trimmer. And I think I screwed up with the, the um, trim here, but uh, I went five and a quarter by five four and I just trimmed off what I felt was necessary so I did want to uh, have a, uh, a card stock base so I didn't mind trimming off a little of the leaves and just to make that uh, quarter panel more quarter paneled <laughs> and here I go I, th I don't know how I screwed up I, you know what I screw up lots I just cut it all out of the video so you don't see um, so that I look, you know, much better than I am. I'm an imposter. I have an imposter syndrome. <laughs> anyway, here are my four panels. And because there is this little stamp in the stamp set that doesn't make 
like I don't know, you look at it and you're like, what the heck? What what do you what am I gonna use this for? So it's like a scripty word um uh stamp. So I ended up going, oh, well, should I do generational stamping? I didn't like that. So this is soft sea foam, and I am just going to ink it up and stamp it all over. So what this does is it gives sort of a background texture. Now, the green of the leaves, uh, it doesn't interfere. So I can stamp right over top. You can't even see it over top of the darker leaves. Because um, this color I used was soft sea foam. It's a very, 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 very pale green slash yellow kind of um and it worked uh, delightfully so and this is just the same stamp set you guys i am just doing a one layer card and it is called artfully layered and i'm assuming that they still have it in stock because i checked and they do and this video should have been out on monday i do apologize i had a headache it has been the weather here has been a little nutty crazy and every once in a while i get one of those barometer headaches where yeah it's kind of painful and i got home from from uh, all of my errands that i was doing on monday and i passed out on the couch well, not passed out. I had a nap. I had a nap while watching uh, Johnny Depp's <laughs> trial. Oh my gosh, talk about a train wreck. Um, I'm hoping that everybody, I don't mean to make light of the situation. It must have been very, very horrible for them. But um, it is kind of unusual to see the, into the lives of celebrities. Anyway, I fell asleep and I then I, the next day I couldn't, I didn't have my stuff together. So I wasn't able to produce this video until today. I do apologize. I had a barometer headache. Um, I think that's what they call them. And this is, uh, what is this? Uh, stays on ink. One of my favorite inks because you get a beautiful black crisp, crisp image with my red rubber stamps. I just clean it straight away after I'm finished using it and it does not stain. So uh, right after this, I would have cleaned it. I usually cut that out of the video because that's boring. So this is shaded spruce and I did um, do two sheets. I scored them in half first and then I cut them. And in case you, you probably already know that little trick, it is a time saver and um, yeah, you score once and you cut once and then you get, um, perfectly, you don't have to score twice and cut once and score twice. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then all I did was I used, uh, wet glue this time around for, and I put the, uh, card front on my card bases and actually, I know a lot of people say, well, what do you do on the inside of the cards? Normally I don't do anything. Uh, but this time, because it is shaded spruce, which is a darker color uh, of cardstock, I did do a basic white piece on the inside. And I also um, stamped those, like the grouping of leaves. I stamped that on the um, inside piece as well. And I want to mention this because um, I am trying to rock the retiring list and <laughs> I, I'm really rocking it. I tell you, you guys, uh, I used a uh, embellishment here that is really double retired. <laughs> uh, let me think. It's called um, Flowers of the Season, Flowers for Every Season Gems. And literally, I think this is from three seasons ago. Uh, and I decorated my cards with it. But um, some of the gems anyway. But I did go in and as you can see, I have my blends markers here. And I got, I, I colored in a couple of the Monstera leaves just because... Um, Sometimes that when I left them white, it didn't look right. So this one in particular looked funky to me. So I just, um, you know, I went in and colored it after. It's not going to hurt your card any if you go in and color something afterwards, as long as the uh, card stock that you're using for your card base is darker than your color. 
So if it was a white one, I would be slightly concerned maybe. But so anyway, um, and moving on until the decorations, these are the really like re <laughs> really retired. I'm really rocking this retirement thing. <laughs> using all my retired products. Um, normally, uh, embellishments like this, I find a use for in my mixed media projects or things like that. So I actually don't get rid of them. I get I do sell my stamp sets on my Facebook page, but I do not sell any half used embellishments or ribbons. I just keep them the ribbons the kitties can play with, or I can decorate Christmas packages with and these like I said, I can use them on mixed media. And I just uh, it slipped my mind. I was pretty sure that they were, but they're not, they're not uh, live or retired. You can't even find them there. But you know what? <laughs> I always say you could use just sequins, but I did go in and I dotted some glue and that's how I put them together. Of course, I used my take your pick tool and that's pretty much it you guys so if you found value in this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my rocking the retired list videos please subscribe the subscription really helps out a lot and so does you watching and liking comment below if you have any questions or just want to say hi so thank you so much for watching and bye for now <laughs>